My name is Scott Cassell, I'm with the Undersea Voyager Project and we're here in an absolutely beautiful Fallen Leaf Lake up here near uh, Lake Tahoe. And our mission today is to descend down to about 250 to 300 feet looking for ancient trees that were deposited along an ancient landslide. One of the theories is that these trees that are 3,500 years old and still standing in a forest actually grew there. And if they did, of course, that means the level of this lake went down between 100 and 200 feet. Our mission today is to map out kind of where they are to see if they're related to that landslide or if they actually grew there in place. So it's kind of an exciting day to be here. This is a uh, glacially formed lake. It's actually about 408 feet deep. It's uh, about a mile and a half, two miles long. And it is basically one giant carved out area that was made by glacier movement. This area used to be filled up to 5,000 feet of glacier. On the end of this lake is a moraine that actually feeds water into Lake Tahoe. So the source of the lake is there, the feed is there, and right here is a very, very interesting ecosystem of unseen currents, low oxygen and very cold water. In the winter time, it's below 32 degrees. Right now, the top side is about 69 degrees. But if you go down just about 30 feet, it flips to be 20 degrees colder. This is a very cold lake. And that's why everything in this lake is so beautifully preserved. In fact, some of the legends are that there are still pioneers and Native American bodies in this lake. So who knows, we might find some of them as well. This lake is over 5,000 feet high, and the reason that it's difficult for divers to go down deep and do long dives here is because the altitude change makes them more prone to diver decompression sickness. So their time underwater is substantially limited, as well as the really cold water. This sub, I can go down to 300 feet, and I can stay there 10 hours and collect information and move at my will and make good long uh, observations instead of the fleeting moments of dive time that uh, the divers have to endure. So this machine is actually a wonderful observation platform that can go deeper than most divers can get. It's a huge boulder. And what in the world is it doing way down here? Wow. Yeah, topside, I seem to have found a sunken boat, a rowboat, uh, made of wood. When I get to close that hatch and dive the sub by myself, I know I'm in for a good time because the sub, as it did today, performed perfectly. Uh, plenty of thrust, nimble. You can turn the pages of a book when you're balanced just right. It's so nimble. And because of that, I was able to find an, a very old antique uh, gas stove and literally got within inches away from it and, uh, and filmed it at point blank range. And you can actually see the crawdads walking around in the background. They didn't even know I was there. The Undersea Voyager Project is a nonprofit program right here in California that is designed to learn everything we can about undersea and underwater life and give that information away for free to the public. It is to benefit mankind's knowledge base. The other part of what we do is we teach kids the technology of diving. We actually teach kids how to pilot the sub and all of the systems inside of the sub, trying to inspire them to get excited about exploration and science and engineering. Hey, top side, top side, puppy. Yeah, top side, I found uh, four more trees at 125 feet. 
They are, uh, they are huge. This mission primarily was funded by our sponsor, Luminox Watchers. It is the funding that they give us from proceeds of the watch line that they made for our nonprofit that allows us to be here today and teach kids how to pilot the sub. So Luminox, thank you. Our dives today were epic. They were so amazing. We went down to about 255 feet was our maximum. But the dive started on number one tree, and as I started to go down, I saw that the tree itself actually wasn't rooted. And then as I got to the bottom, you could see that these big rocks were actually stuck in the roots with all of these rocks down around it. You can see that it was deposited there by a landslide and it did not grow there. As I took the sub and went down in the deeper water, I found more trees at 125 feet deep. And they also, same story, they had big boulder rocks all the way around them and cobble, and the rocks had digested away the roots. And then as I went deeper down into 200 feet and beyond, it turned into this plateau where there was no evidence of rock slide whatsoever. So the trees were put there by a rock slide and they were put there on several different occasions. I also found uh, trash piles and, and all kinds of artifacts and who knows how long those trash piles have been there because the oxygen content is so low in the water they could be 200 years old and look brand new like they do today. So we will come back and the sky's the limit. There's so many treasures inside this lake. I can't wait to explore it.